Hey, what's up, Trevor? Mike Trudell with the Lakers and Spectrum Sportsnet. I good to see you again. I, Trevor, were you 23? Like, is my math right? Like, when you played for the Lakers last time when you won the title? Does that sound right? 22. Ish. Round 20, probably 22. 21 or 22. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just think all the time has passed, all the teams you've been on, right, coming back to this squad now. Like, how would you describe the journey? Uh, how do you reflect upon that time and just uh, all of that? Like, what, how does that hit you as you, uh, as you sit here today? Um, so I don't know. I'm a bit different. I try not to think about all the times or live or whatever. I try to just live in the moment so that I can continue to focus on what I have to do. Um, if I look back all them years ago, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to realize how long I've been doing this and how old I am. So I don't want to do that right now. I want to just, you know, stay in the moment, focus, work on my game, uh, work on things to help this team win. And that's it. Fair enough. So, so let's talk about that then for this season, right, with where your skill set is right now, how you're feeling with your body, uh, knowing the guys that are on the roster. Yeah. Trevor, uh, what, what is the mindset going into this season with this specific team and this specific group of players? Uh, for me, I, th I just believe that the, the only mindset it is it, that there is is to win um, and whatever it takes to win. Obviously, we, all, we have a lot of veterans on this team and uh, – a lot of players that's been doing this for a long time. So the only thing that uh, there is to do is hold each other accountable and do everything that we can do that we've been doing to try to help this team win. What's up, Trev? What it do? Welcome back, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. With AD and LeBron already here, yeah. and then they trade for Russ, who recruited you and they take much recruiting to get you here? <laughs> Who recruited me? Uh, in a way. <laughs> you know what? It's it's funny because Russ got traded and 20 minutes after he got traded, he was on my phone. <laughs> so I don't know if he was telling me he was happy to be home or he wanted to go to dinner or whatever, what he wanted to do. I just know he called my phone like, yo, what are you doing? Where are you at? Uh, I need to talk to you. I need to see you, and uh, you know, from then on, we we kept in like con like uh, constant communication, uh, and just so happened that I'm here. Yep. But I think the biggest recruiter, if you want me to be honest, was my children. My children been here for the past three years without traveling because I've been moving around so much uh, that. They were ready for me to come home, ready for me to be home, and you know I wanted to be home with them. Hey, Trevor, Bill Orm with the Athletic. Uh, good to see you. Um, you um, obviously you mentioned the experience, and you made a joke about about your own age. But what do you think is going? How how do you think um, all the experience that you guys all have, guys who've been in the league for you know, fifteen years, all coming together, it will be you know one of the older teams we've seen. But how do you see all that kind of benefiting this group? And, and what do you see as kind of um, the upside of that? Uh, I, I, I believe the upside to that is we've all seen so much in this league that nothing surprises us. We understand uh, how long the season is, uh, how to pace yourself, how to take care of your body, um, understanding how important it is for uh, everybody to be on the same page to get to that ultimate goal. And that's you know winning the championship at the end of the year. Hey Trevor, this is Kyle Good from the Orange County Register. How are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Great. Um, kind of circling back to what you were saying about your, your kids and your family and, and, and the, the desire to be here. Um, was there a hope for you for a long time to come back to LA just with all the roots you have here? Uh, UCLA, the previous thing. Was, was there sort of a thought in the back of your mind that it, at some point, like it, it might be a great opportunity for you to come back to the Lakers? Um, well, being here has always been something that I that I always wanted to be. Uh, there, to be honest, there was always there's only two places that I actually wanted to be: uh, Miami being one, and LA being the other. Uh, but to be able to come back home. Uh, be with my family, be a part of this tradition is something that, you know, you don't really get 
too many chances to do it twice. So uh, when the opportunity actually uh, presented itself and it was real, I think uh, it was the best it was the best opportunity for me to come home and be here. And I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I wanted to be here. Um, I'm excited to play with uh, with all the players um, to see like. Uh, see what this team can do you know again like you said we're all we've all played for a long time we've all done things that are are pretty amazing by just being in the nba for this long so um to see all those uh, minds come together and all these talents come together i think that is going to be amazing trevor great to see you david Benno with the sbn uh, i know there's been some near reunions mm -hmm. over the years like how close did it get uh, was there any times where you thought oh like not this moment that we're in in 2021 was there a couple of years back where you're like okay here i'm going going back to the purple and gold uh, it's been a couple of times where uh, it could have been a possibility um it didn't work out that way so i figure uh it just wasn't the right time but everything finds itself when the time is presented or when the time is right and apparently this is the right time for, for me to be here with this group. So, you know, can't really worry about if it didn't happen before. The fact is that it happened now and I'm just ready to, ready to get it started. Did you feel any sort of way going way back, the fact that they won the second championship without you, with Kobe and Pal? Uh, if there was a way I felt, I felt excitement. I felt happy. You know, again, like I'm not somebody who I don't hate on nobody. Uh, you know, I'm happy for people when they do them well. Um, I got an opportunity to do something that a lot of people don't get to do. So being upset or hating on somebody else for doing something great is not in my character. That's not even it. That's not even the person that I am. So uh, hell no, to, to answer your question. I was excited for Ron, happy for Ron, actually, because, you know, he, he was a, a person that, you know, played a whole, been through a whole lot throughout his life and his career. And for him to come in and be inserted, it was seamless. And, you know, I was happy for him. Thanks, Trevor. Mark. Hey, Trevor, uh, Mark Medina here, USA Today. Congratulations, good to see you. Appreciate um, it. I know you say you don't really want to reflect much, but uh, that 09 run, what do you remember about uh, when you guys matched up against Melo that year? And what have you made from afar of just how his career has evolved? Um, Melo, Carmelo. Carmelo has always been like one of the toughest dudes in the world to guard, uh, to play against because his talent, his size, strength, speed, shooting ability, everything he brings to the table is just like a nightmare for a defender. So uh, just to watch his career and where it's gone and like, you know, the ups and downs of it, the fact that he's still able to mentally like block all that out is just a test to a person that he is and how strong that man is and like, you know, his journey coming to here to be in here is, uh, is, is I think it's very unique and you know it should be, it should be like uh, something that's celebrated. Hey, Trevor, and you came to that speed lock on late this podcast. Good to see you again. Respect. Um, you, you, you talked a little earlier about how a lot of you guys have been in the league a while. Like that in and of itself is an accomplishment beyond the things you've actually done, and you're somebody who's have to get to this point. Uh, didn't always seem that solidified second round pick. It took a little while. What, what does it mean to you personally just to be at this place, you know, going into year 18, still being in demand, given the way things began? Um, I, it feels good, to be honest with you. Um, it's been a lot of doubt throughout my whole career. And I think the biggest part about it is I really don't care about the doubt. I just stay locked into my thing, stay locked into what I do, and focus on myself and my family and the people that are around me that are rooting for me. And, uh, you know, to have a support system that, that wants to see me continue, I think that's the only thing that mattered to me. We have time for one more here. Let's go to Harrison Fagan. 
Hey Trevor, Harrison Fagan, Silver Screen and Roll. I, I know it's obvious, it's really early, but in your kind of, in the recruiting to bring you back here from the team, like, did you get any sense of what kind of role you're going to play? How big of a role, you know, like starter, bench player? I, again, I know it's early, but did you get any sense of that? Nah, and to be honest with you, I don't think it matters for anybody that's here. Because again, when you're a part of, or when you're trying to win a championship, the only thing that matters is the success of the team. So when the success of the team is the, the first thing you think about, whatever role you have on it doesn't even matter as long as you have a role and, and the idea is for everybody to make each other better every day.